So this is just a little what's in my pencil case video. I carry two pencil cases with me. Um, one is more like practical in a sense and it just has like some extra things that doesn't fit in this little guy. However, I do use this one on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's like this. <laughs> so this is my Muji pencil case. I decorated with a couple of stickers I got from Etsy. I can always link those below. This, however, is also from, um, this is from Mochi Things. So I will also link that in the description as well. I'm not sure if they have these guys anymore, but Mochi Things is like a great place. Not sponsored. <laughs> and then I got some more Etsy stickers here. So when you open it, first thing I have, you can see like my little used ducky eraser. It, he's been used quite a bit and he's slowly getting smaller and I'll just eventually replace him but for now he's here next I have my Muji pens so I use these guys a whole lot and this one is actually new because I used up my my black one already so I just got a new one to replace it but these guys have had for a good year and a half now they do last you quite a bit Next I got this little click art pen. I got this as a freebie and it's actually really nice. Because I use this so much, the tip isn't as great as it was, but when it's sharp and brand new, it gives you a nice little font when you draw and write, so yeah. And then lastly, I have some neutral earth tone Muji pens, not Muji pens, my goodness, mild liner um, highlighters. The only thing about these guys is that I put them in for aesthetic reasons. <laughs> I do use them, yes, but it's mainly for aesthetic reasons. And this is where my other pencil pouch comes in, like I call the practicality pencil pouch. So this one I had for two years now. It comes with this. I also got this from Mochi Things as well. And I have this little Grim Beeper pin I got back in 2020. So cute. I love it. And it's so sad, but my pen kind of just exploded. But we'll, we'll ignore that. <laughs> so first things first, I have this little scissor thingy. It's just like, it's originally for sewing, but I use it for a lot. Alright, and then I also have this. This is my Kurutoga mechanical pencil I have for like, I'm gonna say for four years. I had this guy for a while. Its eraser is also gone too, so yeah. Lasts you a long time too. I love Japanese stationery because of how long they last you. <laughs> and then in here we got some more mild liners that I also use. I use these guys a lot for my human physiology classes or it can even be used for anatomy. Anything in the science field, I swear these things come in handy because sometimes you get lost. You get lost in the sauce easily, you know? But here's the thing. I use these colors the most and you can tell <laughs> because it's missing It's missing the really cool like mild liner thing. Oh goodness. Don't mind my hands. But yeah, they're missing the really nice mild liner title thing. <laughs> so yeah, but they still work amazing. I've been using it for years now as well and they do wonders. And then I also have this Signo Uniball um, white pen. What do I use this for? Art. <laughs> yeah, I, sometimes when I draw I use this guy, so I just have it just in case. Because sometimes I want to add highlights to my drawings for fun and well, we have it for that. Uh, and last I have these two left. I have this ruler practical reasons and lastly some lead anyways that is all that lives inside of this pencil pouch <laughs> very practical and it has all my needs for days that i need them <laughs> there you go oh i don't know how to try to close it but yeah that is all that's in my pencil cases Thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting my channel, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye guys!